What's up, YouTube? This Hemi coming through for another unboxing of a, um, a JVC Double Den um, AV70BT. I've been installing a lot of these lately. I mean, I got it in my car. Then you look on my videos. I did it in my cousin's convertible. And this this particular radio right here, I'm putting in one of my friend's cars um, probably tomorrow or Saturday. I mean, the radio is badass. It's, it's compatible with Android and Apple products and, you know, Bluetooth capabilities. Four volt preamp outputs all the way around. And, the, you know, the add-ons are endless to this radio. And plus I like the fact that there's not many double DN radios out that has a full detachable face um, um, plate for it. So that's a, that's a beautiful thing. You know, you take your whole face off and just put in the little carrying bag that it comes in and you set to go. So you all a glimpse of this that came in earlier today. Let's see. Let's see. Yep, there it is, the KW AV 70 BT. This is a hell of a radio. You know, this was my next, this was my first choice when it comes to, you know, adding big systems. I mean, but, you know, Alpine makes good ones. I hate that Eclipse, you know, got bought out by Fujitsu and went out of business. That's what, to me, that was a bit one of the baddest radios ever ever made, you know, for, for car audio. With the clean, clean sitting on the voltages that it had, it's unheard of. You don't see those kind of votes that the eclipse had but this is to me one of the best next best things out on the market right now as far as all around sound and capabilities and stuff but you know they change radios like every every year or whatever but let's gonna open this bad boy up let's see what's all in here paperwork you know, plus I get, I get these radios at a real good price. You know, it's better to get it with a three-year warranty for like $350 to $375 local. I mean, online at www.dillercostcaraudio.com is where you go local here at the car audio shops. I don't call any names, but they try to charge you $550 for the same radio, and that's not including installation. And in this pack, you see you got your wire harness, and you got your ground cable, so you know you go, you know you can grind your um, <clears throat> your second ground wire to like the firewall of your car, so you continue to watch movies or whatever while you're driving. And there goes the microphone in there also. Let's see, a little paperwork, a book, and let's get y'all to bear with me for a second. Working with one hand and once again. Here's the detachable um, double end face. I uh, see I like it because it's got this nice felt kind of scratch resistant um, case that it goes in. And this is the whole face. The only thing that I dislike about this unit, as, as well as a lot of the double dens, you know, they don't come with the remote control or whatever. You have to buy those separate. And for this radio, the separate remote, it costs about $40. You buy you know, anybody that sells JVC products or whatever. And it's compatible with most of the JVC WD and head units. But I, I love this radio, man, because I put my iPhone up to it. bought the KSU30. Also, yeah, let me say that now. If you, if you decide to get a radio like this for JVC, you have to get the KSU US30 um, plug for it. In order to know that if you got an iPhone or an iPad 
or iPhone Touch or whatever, you know, to use the so it had the full capabilities for playing your videos and you know convert your apps over to your radio, your um, you know, if you want to play your music through the SD or you can just do it the Bluetooth as far as your music goes. Um, but you know, you don't want to use up data or whatever, so yeah, but this is uh, a good view of the radio. I'm putting this one in a um, 1999 Lincoln Town Car. I got the kit and everything in the back for it. So you'll be seeing a video of me doing that installation. It's a quick radio installation. It won't take me long at all. I'm so used to this radio. You know, this is like my fifth or sixth one I've done. You know, since everybody heard mine and seen seen mine and the performance and everything, and it got it's got a real quick you know upload to it when you cut your car on. It runs real quiet. Now I can't say anything bad about the radio. And this is you no, know, this is like I said, this is my first JVC product ever because mostly I mostly I done as far as radios I always dealt with the um, Alpines, Eclipse, or maybe uh, Clarion or so, but. This is pretty badass. I mean, you know, it doesn't have navigation on it, but you know, the age of smartphones, and then if you um, download the app for the iPhone, the mirror link, and everything, you can convert your your um, navigation off your phone onto the radio, and the radio will function just like your phone. All the apps that's on your phone should transfer to this radio. You want to try to fiddle with your phone anymore? You just you know put it in a little holder or whatever, or in your glove compartment. Dial out, you receive text, and everything comes on the screen. So, like I said, it's definitely, you know, definitely worth the investment. It's a good buy. Like I said, if you want the same head unit, you can go to www.dealercostcaraudio.com, and they got it on there on sale. And like I said, it comes with a full three-year warranty. Not like, you know, the local dealers, the local uh, car audio dealers around, they had like the one year warranty or whatever, and then you gotta purchase an extended warranty. No, right off the bat when you purchase it, it has a three year replacement warranty. So therefore, if you know your radio goes out, you had a couple years and they came out with a new model or whatever, they're gonna replace it, you know, with the newer model that's of the same capabilities of you know, this particular model, you know how it goes. And that's the harness I was telling you. It's got a picture on the box that you need. Which is the KSU thirty, like I, U thirty, like I said. You find that Hornets on eBay for like, um, I got mine for like twelve dollars. They range from they, they range from twelve to forty dollars. It depends, you know, the, the the company that has them. But yeah, you definitely got to have that. If you want if you got you want to work your eye products. So till then, this is Hemi signing out. I I. I upload other video and also I got a, a video a little smaller video I'm gonna do today I'm getting ready to go pick up my um my door pods for for some um a component system for my charger where well, actually kick panels I got a guy I bought them from um, he custom made them for me and they wrapped them black vinyl real nice so I'm getting ready to go pick those up in a few minutes once I finish doing this video and I'll upload that but I don't know when I'm gonna put them in my car because I'm trying to debate, you know, do I wanna um add another set of the um the GL Audio C2 series components because I as of right now I got two pairs of the uh C2 six by nines in my car and they sound badass, but like when when I did my cousin's convertible and I put those eight prime series, you know, rough Fosgates, the um the three pass six and a half and the six by nines in the back of that car. I was blown how loud it sounded. And you know, I put the same MB quartz 4.80 amp that I had got in my charger. And but I, you know, I paralleled here down to 125 watts per channel at two ohms. And, and that thing is 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 badass, I'm trying to tell you. Um and it's clear, the amp doesn't get hot. You know, and it, it looks good. So, and it's for the price, you can't beat it. So, um, that's why that one made me go ahead and buy those, get the guy to um, build those kick panels. 
I'm not, I'm not sure I'm going to mount them yet because of the, the way the charger is built on the inside with that uh, footrest down on the drive side floor and everything. You know, I got I got a couple places I can put it in the front of the car and it'll still look good, you know, by my interior being all black and everything. So I'm going to make it do what it do. But I might just, if I don't do the C2 series, JL Audios, uh, six and a half components, I may just get some coaxials. I'm not sure if... Um, I'm not really sure yet, um, cause I I gotta do some research as far as you know, um, time um, parallel and the component system together, you know, to see if I can get a two on load. I've never done that. I always done it with coaxials and you know do the subwoofers and everything. So that'll be a first for me. So until then, this is Hemi signing out. Peace.